Hello, Cambly learners. It's me again, Cambly Tutor Yuri. And today we'll be going over phrasal verbs and how to correctly use them. First off, let's start with a definition. Phrasal verbs are verbs that consist of two or more words, with the first word being a verb and the second word usually being a preposition or an adverb. And these verbs, these phrasal verbs, can be tricky to learn. But they are important to understand if you want to speak English fluently and confidently. But because there are quite a variety of phrasal verbs that cover different themes, today we're only going to do one of those phrasal verb themes. Today we're going to cover phrasal verbs used related to food. And by the end of this lesson you'll be able to use some common food phrasal verbs in your own conversations. The first food phrasal verb we're going to learn today is whip up. This means to quickly make something, often in the kitchen. For example, I can easily whip up a batch of cookies in no time. Can you repeat that with me? Whip up. Now, here you may notice, as I described in the definition, a phrasal verb is usually a verb followed by a preposition or an adverb. In this case, whip is the verb, and up is the preposition, whip up. Once again, this means to quickly make something, most often, in the kitchen. And here's a final sentence example to help you better understand this. I'm so hungry, I'm going to whip up a bunch of chocolate chip cookies. Now the second food phrasal verb we're going to learn today is spice up. This means to add something to a dish to make it more interesting or flavorful, often with spices or seasonings. For example, I like to spice up my eggs with some hot sauce. Can you repeat that with me? Spice up. And here's a second example. I always add a bit of chili powder to my scrambled eggs to spice them up. The third food phrasal verb we're going to cover today is pig out. This means to eat a large amount of food, especially in a very greedy way. For example, I'm going to pig out on pizza and ice cream tonight. Can you repeat that with me? Pig out. I'll create two more example sentences for you using pig out so you can better understand this food phrasal verb. Every Friday night, my friends and I pig out on pizza and chicken wings while watching movies. I know I shouldn't, but sometimes I can't resist pigging out on ice cream when I'm feeling sad. The fourth food phrasal verb we're going to learn today is top off. This means to add a little bit more of something to a dish or a drink, especially something like a sauce or a garnish. For example, I like to top off my pasta with some fresh Parmesan cheese. Can you repeat that with me? Top off. Okay, so once again, here are two more example sentences for you using the food phrasal verb top off. I like to top off my pancakes with a little bit of maple syrup and a handful of fresh berries. To make the perfect pasta, you need to top it off with some grated Parmesan cheese. Our final phrasal verb today is wolf down. This means to eat something quickly and hungrily, not taking the time to enjoy it. For example, I was running late for work, so I had to wolf down my breakfast and rush out the door. Can you repeat that with me? Wolf down. All right, two more example sentences for you using the food phrasal verb wolf down. After a long day at work, I came home and wolfed down a whole pizza by myself. Even though the food wasn't that great, the hungry customers still wolfed down everything on their plates. Now, it's important to note that some of these phrasal verbs can be used to describe other things in English, but today we're learning how to use them when speaking about food-related topics. And there we have it, food phrasal verbs. I hope it's clear now what phrasal verbs are and how we can use them 
For those of you who are unfamiliar with Cambly, Cambly gives you instant access to friendly native English speakers like me. And you can take English lessons anytime, anywhere, right from your phone or your computer. So schedule your next lesson with me or any of our amazing tutors using the link below. Thank you so very much for watching. Until next time.